Okay, so it's around 11 o'clock at night. We'll be working till 1 in the morning. And this is basically the setup I have. Let's see, and there we are. And we're getting up to the point to where we have the air boil meet here. And about to discover a monster. So, finally. Another monster character to bring to this, but like I said, just getting a bit part. I'm probably going to be using this whole mat or in pieces um, for the next two to three weeks. A lot of work, but it should be worth it. It's all said and done. It's going to be a lot of nights like these. So, got to get back to doing this. Okay, I just got to mention something. During this whole production, like during the actual production time where I'm doing the step motion and stuff, it's a lot of work, let me tell you. And this is one of the bigger sets that I'm working with. And really, right now, I'm in the middle the literal middle of doing all this stop motion. I'm like almost about halfway through it. Maybe a little little less, but almost halfway. And I, I gotta tell you that it's like I've been working until one o'clock in the morning the last two nights. I'll be doing it tonight trying to do some of this scene. It's gonna take me another week or two to get everything done that needs to be done on this little piece of set. But personally, I feel like I mean, I'm tired, I'm sleepy, but oh, it's just, it's a great feeling just trying to get something accomplished and, you know, working your butt off for it. And I mean, even though my health right now isn't 100%, but uh, it still feels good to push myself and, and push my limits and everything. So, oh, that's just me being happy, satisfied filmmaker in the battle. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's continue. So here we are back in the studio during the daytime. Great, and I got a huge backdrop, got the lights going, and I'm actually preparing to do some close ups of the death of said Dimitev Guard against the Airborne Elite. And basically, I'm going to shoot him kind of coming off, falling off, wounded, falling off the bridge, and then. I'm going to shoot a close-up of the Airborne Elite looking down at the monster as well um, when he falls into the water and the water goes <laughs> gushes up, which will be a different shot. But uh, just doing the falling down, then looking over this type of angle area. I would also like to point out that this is the first time I've applied wound markers to a figure using a little stick back. Applying the wood, wound markers when it's like boom, 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 fire at him. And so um, I'll, I'll do an effect to where the wound markers just hit on him and, and send him reeling backward off the bridge.
Okay, so I just finished doing the last bit of shots for this huge fight scene. And you see a lot of the terrain pieces I've broken up. I have the other half inside here. I just finished doing the last shots, put the figures away of this just huge fight scene on the bridge across the river. Uh, with the Dumatuff guard that the Airborne Elite face. So, finished all the shots that this this huge set like was in for basically three episodes: the end of one, a full one, and then the beginning of another. So it took a, this took about two weeks to shoot everything, and now I am wrapped for that, and I am officially halfway through the stop motion. <laughs> Of, of all this of this of this first season and I took a picture you're gonna see it on the screen real quick and there's a picture of the airborne elite just group shot uh, for that celebration <laughs> so anyway got finished um, since this took so much work less because I have some uh, medical things happening in the next few weeks I am going to be taking a couple week like a two or three week break from stop motion and then um, as soon as I get recovering um, and, and, and well enough, I'll begin the second half of the stop motion stuff. So, um, yes, I mean, next few weeks probably won't be as interesting, a lot of medical stuff. That's what's going to happen, and that's what I have to look forward to. But anyway, while I'm resting, I can still do a lot of editing on the computer, so I'll be doing that too. So, oh, tired, exhausted, but happy that I was able to get this stuff done. And I'll see all of you next week.